Selling art. Most of us do not understand how this is a great side hustle. It can be therapeutic and can make you a lot of money if done well. Well, of course, in this episode, we're going to show you how you can make it your side hustle. Welcome to the Side Hustle Show. This is the show where we break down the side hustles that are trending online and show you how we do it. I'm Lucas Sakari, your host, and in this episode, we are talking about selling art and commissioning. As always, before we begin, I need you guys to hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get into the video. So what is art commissioning? Art commissioning is creating artwork for a client or individual based on their ideas and desires. The great thing about art commissioning is that it can appeal to everyone and anyone. Whose idea was this? If you have a vision or thought, the artist will be more than happy to create it for you. So how does it work? When starting out, you need to decide whether you are creating art based on another or a completely new piece. For example, some clients want the piece that they can't afford, but they will ask for the same imagery, but in a different size. Artists can remake the artwork, but creating the exact copy is impossible due to the style and technique used. There is always an option for more personalized work. For example, a family portrait, landscapes or something creative. So let's say that you are ready to start creating. First, you need to find and meet up with your client to discuss ideas and visions. This will allow you to understand your task, meet their needs and create to the best of your ability. Next up is equipment. In your first meeting, you will find out what type of artwork your client wants. You must identify what equipment and resources are needed and how much it will cost to use. Different artwork requires different equipment. You must take that into consideration. Most artists charge an upfront fee to take care of the equipment and the time painting. Moving on to creating. First, you need to plan how you make your artwork. Let's assume you know your art style and have agreed a deadline to deliver to the client. Before you begin, make sure you have a good understanding of what they want to prevent any delays and mistakes when creating. What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? Damn it. What do you want? Now it's time to get you paid. Most artists price their work per project, which includes how long it took to create, the skill required, and of course, the size of the work. You will also need to consider a buyout fee if you're working with brands or a high profile client. So we've covered how it works, so let's go through the pros and cons. Pros, opportunity to make great money. As you know, art is unique, and as a result, there is a lot of money to be made. The better you are, the more money you can make. So get practicing. Creative freedom. The great thing about art is that you have the freedom to create a range of work. This will allow you to express your creativity with the client's ideas in mind. Variety of clients. As I mentioned earlier, you'll be exposed to a variety of clients. Each client will have a different request, which is great for building your portfolio. Moving on to cons. Time creating. As you know, when creating art, the process may take time for it to meet the client's needs and for the work to be finished. Time management is important if you're working on multiple projects at the same time. Copyright. Now this is important. Since we are creating art, there is a risk that your artwork could be similar to another. It's important that you make each artwork unique to avoid any issues or fines. Finally, exposure. As you are new to the art world, it may take time for you to become established and build a list of clients. Keep creating and be unique. Let's quickly recap the pros and cons. Pros, opportunity to make great money, creative freedom and variety of clients. Cons, time creating, copyright claims and finally exposure. Now this is the part of the show where we give an example of how I would do it. Let's assume I'm Leonardo da Vinci and Van Gogh for this part because my drawing is terrible. Let's get into it. So when starting out, it's important to begin with interests and identify what type of artwork you want to create. This can be landscapes, family portraits, abstracts, or modernism. Now remember, this is your world. You get to make and break the rules here. I'm thinking to go with modernism to start and potentially move to more complex styles later. In terms of contacting clients, I'll begin to ask my family and friends if they want a painting of their choice so I can build my portfolio and gain some experience. I will also create a website and upload my work to social media to build a following which could potentially reach new clients. 
So when creating, I'll make sure to have multiple meetings with my client to ensure that we are on the same page and that we share the same vision. Like I mentioned earlier, it's important to charge an upfront fee to take care of the equipment and also guarantee that you are not working for free. Next up is marketing. With this, I'll be using social media to share samples of my artwork. I could also create portraits of famous people which could bring new audiences to my account if they share it on their page. Once you have gone through all these steps, you will need to stay up to date with your projects and update your portfolio as you go. And that's our show. Let us know in the comments below if you're thinking to start this as a side hustle and how you would do it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you soon.